Well, it may seem a little bit early, but it's not. We are tracking a multi-record breaking hurricane right now. Meteorologist Kit Thomas joins us to tell us the latest details that just came in. That's right, Danielle. With this 10 p.m. update from the National Hurricane Center, we now have a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic. Hurricane Barrel, of course, has been setting many, many records. And notice the very rapid intensification ramp up. It plateaued for a bit, weakened some from what's called an eyeball replacement cycle. And that usually sets the stage for a second strengthening. And we did see that all the way up to 160 mile per hour winds. And that has begun to, or the forecast will eventually eventually weaken. So that is some good news, but it still has to go through some of the islands in the Caribbean Ocean. Here's what it looks like on satellite infrared showing a very impressive textbook hurricane uh, with a very concentric eye wall there, a very circular eye. And that's usually indicative of a very strong. Now the thing is, this looks like a September storm. The waters in the ocean are at September temperatures. So it makes sense that it's happening, even though it's happening more than two weeks earlier than any category five ever. You have to go back to Emily in 2005, which was in on a July 16th. Now it has to contend with some high shear over the next couple of days that will weaken the hurricane. So that's some good news. If you are planning any uh, trips to Cancun or anywhere along the Yucatan, but maybe keep an eye on this storm as it could potentially still have some major impacts there. Of course, it's not just the wind speed. It's also the surge is, is going to be picking up quite a bit, especially as it heads towards Jamaica. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, we're talking about damaging. <laughs> like how, how big is it like width wise? Is it bigger than so, the islands? Uh, the last I saw the hurricane forced winds was uh, 40 miles per hour. I didn't look at this latest one. <laughs> we were in a mad rush because yeah. it just came up, but it's probably about 50 to 60 miles wide of hurricane force. The tropical storm force goes well over 100 miles. Oof. And no sign yet, hopefully, that it will hit any along, anywhere along the U.S. coastline. Yeah, so it goes eventually into the Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche area, and that's where the five-day forecast ends. Don't look anything beyond that yeah. because it all really it spreads change. out. As we know, yeah. we've, seen, mm -hmm. we've seen how quickly that can happen. Yeah. All right, yep. thanks, Kit. Yeah. yeah.